Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. The, uh, I'm George. Uh, thank you for everyone for being here on this uh, stream that I uh, was thinking for a long time to do uh, some um, uh, Amiga OS 4 gaming uh, exclusively. And uh, this is the first time that I'm doing that. I had some issues earlier today with uh, the capture card. That's why um, probably we are not going to see a lot of uh, gaming today, but uh, we are going to have a look on this uh, new uh, release of uh, Heretic 2 for the uh, Amiga OS 4. Please let me know if you can hear me uh, well. And uh, let me shut down the music. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone. Let me let me see who is on the chat. Uh, hello, uh, live for it. Uh, hello, Iris Amiga, Javier, Emek. Welcome to the stream. C277. Welcome, Amiga Show. Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, it's good to have you all here. Um, as I said earlier. Uh, I had some issues with the capture card. The problem there is that it can't um, capture 60 frames per second for 1080p gaming. And this is unfortunate because Heretic 2 runs perfectly on uh, 1080p and more. Um, you will see that there are going to be some breaks in the video, although on the uh, system it la uh, runs flawlessly. Maybe I, it's time for me to get a, another capture card to capture uh, gaming for Amiga OS 4. Uh, we will see how it goes. Uh, Javier says, by the way, what was the problem uh, on your uh, A2000 and compact flash being so slow? Yeah, uh, I fixed that. The problem was uh, with the device. The version that was included in uh, the package that I found from Aminet was uh, quite old. So I downloaded from different packages the uh, device and the FAT95 and it worked flawlessly. I'm going to have a stream on Friday and I will show uh, what I did. Uh, but on the recording that I'm going to put online uh, in a few days, I have also added some uh, video about how I solved it. Hello, back and the real one. What capture card do you have? I have a, an other, other media that is Live Gamer Portable. It's quite old. Um, it would be fine if it could... Uh, it does uh, 30 frames per second on 1080p. But it seems that when I move uh, quite fast the screen, something goes, uh, something is uh, problematic and the, you are going to see some stuttering. Although that uh, this is not uh, in my screen, uh, that's not the case in my screen. Javier, yeah, yeah, everything is quite fast. Uh, I tried that. I found the solution uh, an hour later after I finished the stream and it was uh, running so fast so on Friday we are going to see how it works so for today's stream uh, yesterday I received the package of uh, the new release of Heretic 2 for the uh, Amiga OS 4 uh, let's see if you want to to get your own version your own uh, package where you are going to find so find it so if you go to, um, I don't know if you see my screen, no, let me, yep. If you go to uh, the website amiga-shop.net, that is from Alinea Computer, you are going to find the new release over there and we are going to see the package, what exactly it includes. Uh, Amiga Games, and the first one is for the Heretic 2, for Amiga OS 4. And we are going to have a look on um, uh, the differences of this version against the um, versus the older version that was released by Hyperion. This also is released by Hyperion. Uh, Stefan Hauser, Hauser 
did a, a tremendous job on that and we are going to discuss about it. So if you want to buy it, you can find it on uh, the website uh, of Alinea, amiga-shop.net. Um, if you are in UK, I think that there is going to be a reseller there to have it, have it for you uh, and uh, order it from there. And probably uh, soon there is going to be a reseller uh, at the uh, US. So um, what this uh, new version brings, let me go to Amigans. There is um, uh, a thread on Amigans created by the, the author of the new version and he's um, having a list of points there about what this new version brings. So let's have a look. Uh, Reddit 2 for WorldPoest 20 years ago version is not PowerPC native but uses the context switch mechanism of WorldPoest while it's, uh, Eretic 2 for OS 4 is fully PPC native. He did a tremendous job to uh, compile the game for the CPUs, the PowerPC CPUs that we are using for Amiga ones. Uh, the new version offers, yeah, it offers uh, GL4ES that are uh, the the libraries that we can use for OpenGL for the Radeon RX graphics cards, and that's coming with the Web 3D Nova uh, package from uh, Aeon. It also supports newer version of MiniGL and also has a software rendering. Oh, uh, hello uh, MagicSN1. <laughs> the developer of the game is in the chat. So guys, if you want to throw any questions, we have him here. We have Stephen here and uh, I bet he will be happy to answer them. Uh, thanks for coming here. Uh, so, uh, the new version has a lot of uh, uh, enhancements for being quite fast, uh, like the multi-texturing, uh, the multi-texturing, um, because it says here, uh, supports multi-texturing while the old version did it. Multi-texturing speeds up the game and improve effects. Uh, which is a great uh, achievement and also the higher resolutions it goes up to uh, 4k support uh, if you have uh, such a screen uh, and on attached on your Amiga uh, it has a full support for Amiga input so you can connect any uh, joystick or uh, gamepad that works with Amiga input and you are going to be ready to use it um, the other thing is that you can have audio uh, from the CD-ROM just fine, but if you are using uh, disk images, like I am using on my uh, Amiga X5000, uh, you are going to be able to use the to, to mount those images and use them in the game. And I will show you exactly how this can be done. Um, what else? There is also the multiplayer coming. There is a release of THF on uh, OS4 Depot already. So if you are on a LAN with others or through the TCP IP, you can uh, play games with against your friends. Uh, my system is an X5000 with a few gigabytes of, uh, of RAM and the graphics card is a Radeon RX 550 with the latest drivers for the for that system. Uh, hello Gatesman, welcome to the stream. Uh, okay, so what else can we say? It comes in a very beautiful uh, box it has let, let's have a look on the the box so you you let me change the camera great so if you order it you are going to get this uh, box 
uh, with heretic to uh, following the original uh, design and you will see here that is for Amiga OS, uh, Amiga OS Hyperion uh, released it and at the back there are some screenshots about the game and information which uh, this, uh, describe the game and uh, the, the uh, characteristics that this have. I guess these are coming from the original uh, packaging but I'm not sure about it. Um, and let's see what comes inside. So, the, the game is uh, two CD-ROMs and they are included in this uh, small package, CD-ROM package. Uh, all the CD-ROMs are uh, well designed and uh, let me see the first one, which is this one. It also follows the original design, I guess. Uh, the second uh, CD has the, also the audio and that can be used to listen to music, the music of the game while you play. This one. And the, this packaging also has information here about how to play the game, something like a, uh, a chat sheet, uh, sorry, uh, an easy way to find a cheat sheet to find an easy way to have all the information about the uh, keys. Although that you are able to um, set your own keys in the game and the, uh, a design at the back which is beautiful. So other than that there is also the manual of the game around uh, 40 pages of uh, manual in a very good uh, print uh, and quality. It has the information about the game. Uh, you will see here some graphics that are related to the game, who created that uh, and a lot of info. To be honest with you I haven't uh, read it yet because I received it just yesterday, so I'm going to have a look on that for sure. It, it, is, uh, it is very well made. Again, I don't know if uh, this was coming with the original Heretic 2 back in the day, but you see here that it has some very nice uh, graphics in there and some story that will help uh, understand the game. Uh, if you play it. Hello Arthur Mufe, welcome to the stream. Smarkooks, welcome as well. Puny, welcome to the stream, thank you for being here. So, uh, Magic says that the second CD is mixed CD as it contains some of the installed data for some languages which is, did not fit on the first CD, yeah. Okay, and uh, I saw that on uh, OS4 Depot there are also some packages for uh, two more uh, languages uh, that are an, an official uh, language support the game. So yeah, you should, if you need them, you can download it from there as well. And also in the manual there are information, there is information about uh, the keys that you might need. And let me see, it has information about uh, saving and loading the game, multiplayer, multiplayer um, quick start and all this stuff. Very well created. And here has credits about the uh, version, this version for Amigo S4, who uh, worked on that. Uh, Stephen Magic Senhauser, who is in the chat, is the uh, developer who did the conversion. Uh, we see here that uh, Cassie uh, was a beta testing lead. Arcadius Huko uh, helped with uh, the video and 3D cards. Uh, Sinan Gurken 
Samir Hamandech, sorry about <laughs> killing the name, Martin uh, Imre Gaspar, Nick McFly, Steve Harrison, Valiant, and Rafael Mufa uh, Chayla. Uh, they all helped for this uh, remastered uh, version. Um, I see there are some questions. Uh, C277 looks very good. Can it run on Amiga 1? 500? Uh, of course, it supports the, the old uh, mini, uh, uh, mini GL. I mean, the old graphics cards like the Radeon HD. It works on Radeon RX. And if your card is not supported, there is always the software rendering to run it. The Amiga 1500 uh, has the, it's a Sam, Samantha 460, so I guess it is working fine. Yeah, as the, the rest of the guys said later. Uh, and also, uh, if you are having an Amiga OS 4 system running on an emulated uh, environment uh, with a QMU, it works there as well. Now, if I'm not wrong, it doesn't work quite well with the 1222. Uh, there are some uh, compatibility issues with the lack of uh, FPU. So the game uh, is not supported for this system yet. Doesn't support this system yet. Magic Essence says check AmigaGaming.de which contains benchmarks on some systems. Yeah, yeah. In the benchmark section page was set up by Kimon Zonias. Okay, good. Uh, that's great. And okay, let's see how we can install. As I said earlier, I am cheating a little bit because my X5000 doesn't have a CD-ROM. So what I did was to um, uh, capture the create images from the uh, CD-ROMs on my system here. I have the folder for the Heretic 2 ISOs. Have in mind that the first CD-ROM you can create just a plain ISO. It's, it's fine for that. But for the second one, the, uh, there are two formats that you can use. The first one is the NRG that comes from the Nero uh, uh, capture uh, uh, program, which is a little bit uh, proprietary, so it's not easy to do it in uh, other uh, programs other than uh, the Nero. But you can also use the combination of two files, the create an image in bin format with a uh, the Q uh, file, that usually the Q file is just a text file that has information about the positions of the audio tracks. Uh, a lot of uh, programs support it and uh, that's what I am using here today. You don't see my workbench screen. You are so right. Yep. Like that's That's my two uh, images, the Q and the bin file for the second CD-ROM and the first CD-ROM is uh, just an ISO. And if uh, you open the Q, it's just a text file with the, the tracks. Uh, but when you want to mount it, you have to mount the Q file and uh, all the magic is going to happen there. So what I'm going to use for Amiga OS 4, I'm going to use the disk image and mount the first CD-ROM and start, you see here, a new icon uh, for a retic and let's see what is the process. Uh, it has some information here about licenses, CD player license, and all the stuff that needs to be done to be in the CD-ROM. Install, view Heretic 2, congratulations on your purchase of Heretic 2 Amiga, 
and all the information about the characteristics of this version okay uh, let's go to the next I'm going to go and let me install in the folder RPG uh, hello CB welcome to the stream I have an Atapi emulator from Tati Bogle in one of the retro machines I have. It's pretty good, takes an ISO or a BIN queue and emulates an ID Atapi device so you can emulate a CD-ROM including a CDDA header. Oh, nice, nice. Um, I'm going to select this RPG folder and here it has a checkbox if you want to create a new um, folder or not let's see select your your language i guess that if you select one of the others it will ask you to uh, mount or insert the the, the second cd rom i will select english and we will wait for the installation uh, actually the installation is not uh, taking too long it's pretty fast um, so we will see uh, how it goes um, after the installation a new uh, icon a new folder is going to be here as you can see here heretic 2 let's wait for this to be finished and then from the second CD-ROM since we are not adding any extra uh, languages we will not do anything else than just mount it and I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, make it work with the to, to make work the audio with uh, by mounting the uh, image have the the audio inside the game uh, work now uh, because my capture card cannot uh, switch from uh, a high resolution to lower resolutions we are not going to see the uh, videos uh, in the start and uh, of the game so these are going i'm going to let you uh, watch them when you are going to buy your own uh, copy so i'm not going to to ruin everything here um, unless if you had the older version so these are uh, pretty similar uh, magic sn can i ask you the videos uh, that come with this version where um, uh, are they a better resolution than the older ones or are they the, the same ones? Uh, Javier says, and instead of two CD, one DVD or the audio that then wouldn't work in DVD. I'm not sure if you can use a DVD to, to have audio tracks. I think you can't. Okay, so I'm going to games, RPG, I have here the game and I'm going to remove the first CD-ROM and mount the second. So I'm selecting the Q file and not the bin and this is uh, mounted here as you can see, just fine. Okay, and let's start the game. We are going to do some uh, configuration. You don't see right now the uh, screen, but let me see, can you hear anything? So, uh, I'm going to set the resolution to 1080p so that you are going to be able to see it. Okay. Good. 
great and let me see you can listen to the the sound of it right yes i think so let me make it a little bit okay so um if i go and quit it yes okay because i forgot something to to check when you are going to set up the audio CD-ROM, you are going to need the unit of the uh, the mounted uh, disk. So the, what you can do to to find it out is select this uh, mounted disk and go to information, and there on this window you see that it says device disk image dot device four. That's the unit four is the unit that we need. And this is going to be used inside the game. So let me start it again. Great. So if I go to sound settings, uh, first before that, I'm going to increase a little bit the gamma because you probably see it. It is too dark for you. And um, okay sound settings we have here if uh, effects volume you can select set the cd and cd music is on here it has cd device disk image device and for cd unit you have to change it to four and that's all you need to do um, what i need to also change is options action keys so attack it has uh, i don't know if uh, these are going to to uh, be the right uh, selection of keys that uh, help you but i like to to change them so i'm going to because i i like to use the mouse mostly and the keys right now are not uh, set in a way that uh, you can play with the mouse so for the move I'm going to change up arrow ok step left step right and crouch I'm going to use that but let's jump space ok action we have E ok Q and we will see what else we need to change mouse config free look yes ok invert mouse no save config ok and I think we are ready to, to uh, start the game but first let's have a look again on the credits the first part of the credits have the information from the developers that did that uh, release and the previous release uh, for Hyperion so if you want to have a look just check this out um, yeah I could uh, Javier you are right I could uh, set it to, to uh, window mode and have everything uh, there uh, so let's start I'm going to skip the intro so that you can have it on your uh, system when you buy the game Uh, 
Javier asks, uh, what was the, the most difficult part in this sport? This isn't right. Where is everyone? You already see at your screen that there are some uh, breakers because that's the problem of my uh, capture card. Let me open a little bit more the gamma. Okay. Because the game is uh, really dark, so it is better to have a better look of the the area. Uh, I guess it was some bugs which I fixed in the old version and then they show up again. Also getting the third uh, renderer ready, yeah. As you can see, you can hear the, the music on the, of the game, right? So the audio CD plays just fine from the... Uh, Of the image. Looks to be Unfortunately, the screen is uh, stuttering a lot, so I'm not going to continue with the game because it's not looking well on your uh, screen, right? C2, <laughs> um, I don't have a something to I don't have the FPS right now in my screen but it's much more than 60 frames per second uh, Javier says aren't the text strings too tiny for full HD um, here in this screen when the capture card cuts up let's see Okay, on this screen the, the texts are quite fine. There are some uh, situations that the text is re really small, but not uh, during the game. So you are not going to have any problem by playing the game. Let's try the window mode. So I'm going to go with uh, this one and no. I hope that it's going to be better. Yeah, it, it is great game. I'm going to find a solution with a graphics card. I don't know if it is a matter of uh, some kind of uh, drivers that fail usually when i'm doing uh, streams uh, i don't play games so it was not uh, uh, made for gaming but right now it struggles a lot Let's see if that makes any difference. Unfortunately not. 
So, uh, if you have any questions about the game, uh, please let me know. Um, sorry about the the quality of the uh, video while playing the game. It's it's bad, but the game is uh, awesome. I uh, assure you that if you install it on any of your Amiga ones, it's it's uh, really fast and uh, great to have. Uh, if you want to buy it, you know, you can find it on uh, the Alinea shop or if you are in UK, US, there are going to be some resellers there. And that appears to be a fast uh, stream from my side. Thanks everyone for being here. Uh, I wish uh, the Caps Cut was working better and uh, having some gaming. But unfortunately, the, the result is really bad, so I'm uh, forced to end the stream now. Uh, the box for Heretic 2 is very good, uh, well made. The content, very well made. And uh, I will say that uh, if you buy it, you are not going to regret it. Uh, Parkin says that I have one of those PCI Express Elgato 60 frames per second capsule cards. They do cost a lot though. Yeah, 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 yeah. This card is, uh, that I have is very good to capture uh, things, but not for the 60 frames per second 1080p gaming. Uh, maybe I should uh, de uh, decrease the resolution and uh, make some uh, configuration there. We will see. Uh, may my plan is to have every Tuesday gaming exclusively on, 10, uh, on Amiga OS 4 and I need to find a solution for 1080p uh, streaming. GL4ES is slightly faster on system which have support for it than MiniGL, but MiniGL is fast too. I tried that uh, with uh, my micro Amiga 1, it was uh, quite playable and it was fine. And have in mind the Micro Amiga 1 has a Radeon 7000 with 32 megabytes of RAM. So there is a bottleneck there, but uh, the game works great. Thanks, uh, Tito, for being here. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for coming. I. Uh, I promise that I'm going to find the solution and have uh, some better streams in the future. Uh, have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.